into cinematic. So let's go John Denver's milk. Um, DC up. Comics built down, and he used the so face of so Rank Gustin's Barry Allen the Flash. Run, Barry, run! And I like how he put the lightning right there. And that doesn't make sense. Gosh, comic professionals are such <laughs> entitled a holes. It's really funny. You just look at this, and they get so passive aggressive and so womanly on Twitter. And I'm talking about a man, so uh, and not even a man in a dress, but an actual man, allegedly. Uh, and so hey, John, what's the big deal if he was a transgender person or a drag in in in, in a dress? It's like, what's the big deal? Like. Like you, you, you little losers get triggered by that a lot. <laughs> AKA Dylan Mulaney. <laughs> so <laughs> they always just self own and they always just uh, go out there and lash out and get so angry because their books aren't selling and people aren't. Evidence. Evidence that DC Comics ain't selling. I'm like, I'm like evidence. Like, I got, because you motherfuckers like saying they're not. You, you come up with some bullshit numbers that are not true. And I want to know some evidence, evidence, evidence. I want some evidence, Whitey. Uh, of course, reviewing them positively. Now, I'm talking about Cy Spurrier right now. Cy Spurrier is uh, one of the up and coming big people in the industry right now. And he's been. Interesting that everybody in the comic skate community who themselves promote their comics are trying to ruin Marvel and DC right now. It's like you know that you can't compete with them on your own, aka promote your books and do it on your own without bashing the other two companies, the other companies out there. So you go out of your way to make a bunch of YouTube videos bashing Marvel, DC, and other companies who have better comic book creators than yourself, John Denver, to promote your bullshit books. No, you you people go out of your way to ruin the entire fandom of comic book readers. Fandom. So that they can buy your shit. They can buy your shit. It's, that's what you do. That's what you do. To a point that you no longer are social bounty to comps, you have your own website because they kind of are not the same as you. So, that's kind of funny. I've been on The Flash for the first three issues, and I, I reviewed this over on my comic review channel, which is JDA Talks Comics. You can go grab that link in the description below if you want to read my comic reviews. I don't care and Cy Spurrier uh, wrote just completely unreadable trash. It is uh, way out there. It doesn't make any sense as a plot line. And of course, that's why these books are failing. You have these like untalented hack writers who are just destroying these characters who really don't have any love for the characters to begin with. They want to do their reimagined, rebooted versions, uh, you know, deconstruct it uh, rather than actually uh, pay homage and love uh, to these characters. And of course, that's what's been causing problems in comics for a long, long time. Now, uh, <laughs> he gets into a crazy rant here, and we're going to just go here and enjoy it for a second, but hold on. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator, and this Top Grift book is way better than anything Cy Oh, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you're virtually sitting for Andrew Tate, the dude who got arrested for that. Yeah. There. Andrew Tate. A guy whose whole career is I don't give a fuck what women think. Andrew Tate, that dumbass. <laughs> he got taken down by a girl, dude. The dude who got taken down by a girl. What's her face? Greta Thornsdale. Yeah, Greta Thornsdale just put out one tweet saying that, yeah, he got small dick energy. And that dumbass put out a video for basically giving the FBI's evidence on the moron is like right there. It is like he got himself arrested for 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 responding to Greta Thornsdale. I'm like <laughs> That was funny. And all she had to say in the tweet is you got small dick energy. <laughs> and this moron just 
just blasted himself for the, the government to go get his ass. Ah, I'm just saying that's funny. Careers ever done. Uh, this is an aspirational book. It is about oh, a yeah. man overcoming online grifting and coming into his own. It's something that like uh, comics don't do anymore because uh, you don't star white males actually building their own sort of thing anymore. It is what it is. Is he white? I'm like, motherfucker, yes, they do. I'm like, what are you talking about, John? It's like every fucking company out here is associated with white people. No. Even Twitter itself is a white dude. A crazy white dude, Elon Musk, but it's still white. So I'm like, I'm like, what are you talking about? They don't, they don't build a I'm motherfucker, Tony Stark. Iron Man. He's a fucking the zillionaire who's now uh, allegedly engaged to Emma Frost so that he can save his ass and build his new armor for himself as a part of the Fall of X story. So I'm like, what are you talking about? They'll do that with white dudes. Tony Stark, Iron Man, dude, Iron Man. I am Iron, I am Iron Man. That that Nana well he died in Endgame. Robert Down Jr. Tony Stark. Okay, I'm like, what are you talking about, John? It is. Uh, so we're doing a great book here. It's a lot of fun. I have a top tier artistic talent, Mike S. Miller, who's blacklisted from DC Comics because he voted for Trump, and uh, he did great. I like how you morons always use that as an excuse. Yeah, I got fired from Marvel DC because I'm a Trump supporter. No, you got fired because you're a bigot. You got fired because you're a bigot. It's not because you, you like sucking Donald Trump's dick, okay? It's not because you like sucking Donald Trump's dick, okay? I'm just saying, you are a bigot, okay? A.K. Ethan Van Sky, Richard G. Marshall, all you motherfuckers in Comics Gate who were associated with Marvel DC got fired because you're a bunch of bigots, okay? Let's, let's just be honest about it, motherfucker. Let's just be honest, okay? Let's be honest. Don't lie. And how people get the only reason you say that because you want people to feel sorry for your ass, okay? Great work on DC's Injustice. He did Game of Thrones. He's on Shad, uh, Shadowversity's Shadow of the Conqueror. His art is beautiful, yeah. a listered quality. And so yeah. we have this going on here. I'd love you to support our cultural efforts uh, in the description below and grab this today. Only eight days left, guys. Thank you so much for your support. So here's Cy Spurrier. Uh, here he goes. Here's an easy fix, guys. Take all the comics you have, all this newfangled woke shit, right off your shelves. I've already done that. Uh, fill them with creators who are still doing what you think comics should be. EVS et al. I've, I've already done that. Sit back as the crowd swarm and draft to your told you so. We'll wait. Uh, things are doing really well, actually. Uh, actually, me as a person who's never been hired in Marvel and DC. So you suck. No, I'm serious, John Denver, you suck. You suck, John. Cause if you're gonna say you're the world's greatest artist and comic creator, and your whole thing is I was never hired by Marvel DC Comics. It's like Wow. Okay. If you say so, Whitey, if you say so. <laughs> So you're this good writer, but you was never hired by any company in the comic book industry either. And I'm not just saying Marvel DC. I'm, I'm saying Image, Dark Horse, Vertical, Boom Studios, whatever. Any of those companies in higher ass, then there's something wrong with you, dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, if you say you've never been hired by any company in the comic industry, it's like, there's something wrong with you, dog. I'm serious, there's something wrong with you. I'm sorry, but it, it, it's like, it, at least Ethan Van Sky can say he did work for Marvel DC. I, I, I can get that crap of that. He can say he worked for the Marvel DC. You can't. You can't even say that, because that's how bad you suck. You suck, dude. Just doing something on my own, selling books on my own website and Amazon, I've been able to make a living doing this. I'm actually doing that while people like Max Visaggio in the mainstream industry are begging on Cash App for. No, they're not. They're not begging. It is promoting their book. It's called promoting a book on on that Nazi app called Twitter X. 
that is slowly dying a slow death because you fuckers. <laughs> because the more advertising pull off of it, the more it sinks to the bottom of the barrel. It's getting beat off by, it's getting its ass kicked by Instagram and TikTok, okay? Twitter. No, I'm serious. Elon Musk got his ass kicked by Instagram and TikTok. Okay. Rent. And so, yeah, it's actually doing pretty well. And guys, uh, if you look at my back catalog, if you go to Delarose.com, I've got 12 plus graphic novels. I've got several single issues on top of that. So it's not like I'm just sitting here resting on my laurels, making a book uh, every couple of years or something like that. I'm actually grinding these comics out there just like Marvel okay. and DC are doing. And so I appreciate your support again. So yes, you can do this. You can support us. You can support Eric July. You can support Ethan Van Skyver. Way better than supporting Cy Spurrier. Jesus Christ. Uh, for a second time in a week, I'm compelled to quietly mention that the above resounds with the furious clang of irony. Note the last line. Anyone else notice this place has become annoyingly literal since the exodus began? So what that tells me is the people who were uh, supporting him on the woke side, who don't support anything because they don't buy comics, uh, got mad at him because they took him literally and not as a passive aggressive, like try to go at us saying our, our comics aren't worthy or whatnot because they're not approved by the Warner Brothers Corporation. It's BS. And of course, uh, his fans don't actually like his work either. That's the whole problem that's going on in the industry whatsoever. Hey, hey, hey John Denver. First of all, you got you to gotta question that because yes, they do. The real comic book fans like what they like. Okay, shut up. They're too stupid to understand what's going on. And that's why we have a rebellion that's actually working. If it was Your rebellion suck, John Denver. Your rebellion suck. Because your rebellion against anything that's not white. No, I'm just saying it's like your rebellion suck because it's not really that inclusive. And it, it, it trying to take away our freedom. You're not working. Comiskate is dying a slow death. No, I'm serious. It's dying a slow death. Okay, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest wasn't working people like Cy Spurrier who were on flash like a giant property that just had a movie wouldn't be making passive aggressive posts on x.com like being frustrated and upset with us we're winning and this is really really bothering are you really boobing are you really boobing are you really boobing John Diver? if you were such a boom then why you keep on using Marvel and DC for clout no, I'm serious. You keep on using Marvel DC for clout, dude. You are literally sucking the industry's dick, John Denver. That's what you do. It's like you are literally riding his coattails right now. You are using him to promote your comic because you and every one of y'all cannot do it on your own. No, I'm serious. If you were such a good creator, then why y'all always bashing the, the, the Marvel DC company and anything Hollywood related? If y'all were, if your product was so good, then why do you keep on attacking Marvel and DC? Why do you? I'm just asking the question, dog. Why you keep on bashing Marvel and DC, all y'all, all y'all in comic game? You always do it. You always had to put out a video doing this because. You on your own suck. All of y'all suck. All you suck. You suck ass. Don't deny you suck. Bothering them. So I made sure to make uh, uh, a nice post here. Great. Uh, start here. Great sci-fi. Book two coming out earlier this year. I'm talking about my Overmind, uh, which of course made over $40,000 uh, as I released that last year. And uh, we're almost done with book two right now. And I made a nice... Uh, uh, quote tweet too to make sure people knew about this. I agree you should start buying my books because I'm a strictly better writer than Cy Spurrier and I will stand by that claim. Are you are you really are you really better than Cy? Are you better than Cy? Really? Are you really? Are you? Because I'm, I'm going to say it again. If you are such a good writer any one of these comic companies would have picked you up and put you on one of their books. I'm just saying.
if you were this good creator, you want to be basically another one of Elon Musk's bitches. I'm gonna say that you wouldn't be Elon Musk's bitch. This is this is be honest. This is, you're on Twitter X. You're on YouTube. You're basically sucking a dick right now, dog. I'm just saying you wouldn't have to ride the coattails of Marvel DC to get people to notice your ass. I'm just saying it's like right there. You just riding the coattails of Sam here. And others like my girl Gail Simone and Kelly Sue Denominator and Brian Michael Bendis and others who are better than you. Who are better than you. You all do it. You ride their coattail. You can't deny it. You're doing it right now. You're riding the coattails of them. You're riding the coattails. And I will, uh, you can read my books and, and see for yourself. Very funny stuff. Uh, these guys are such passive aggressive dorks, and uh, I love defeating them at every turn. It's a lot of fun. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon. Yeah, I, you're really beating them, dog. You're really beating them, dog. I'm like, really. And I like how you got. I like how you. Gosh, comic professionals are. So I like how he's all, it's like, really, it's just lame. You, you people are lame, dude. You people are lame, dude. Because Marvel and DC are the two top comic book companies right now. It's like, whatever you say, it's like they're the two top comic companies right now. To this day, it's like Marvel, DC is right there. The top tier of comic books. It's like right there, motherfuckers. Right there. You can't deny it. To say you're better than Marvel DC is a joke, John Denver. That's a freaking joke, dude. That's a freaking joke. San Diego. I'm like, really? Oh, I am better than Scott Nicholson who works for DC Comics. Oh, you know that blah, 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 blah. His Flash Comics doing bad. No, it isn't. I'm seriously saying that. No one dislikes the Flash. We might not uh, like the movies as little as the Flash movie, but no one out, no one said they hated the Flash. Okay, no one said they hated Barry Allen as the Flash, dude. It's like to a point where even Grant Gustin, who played the Flash for a bunch of seasons on the CW, is beloved, more beloved than Ed Ezra Miller. No, I'm serious. My boy, Grant Gustin, who played Barry Allen. Yeah, in the Flash show for the CW is beloved. Yeah, out of the two, who's the most beloved? Ezra Miller or Barry Allen? I mean, Grant Gustin. And I'm going to say Grant Gustin. For at least nine seasons. Yeah, it was nine seasons, was it? Yeah, it was nine seasons of Flash. He did for nine seasons of Flash. Yeah, Grant Gustin played Barry Allen in the Flash for nine seasons. Nine seasons in a and a bunch of crossovers. A bunch of crossovers. Grant Gustin, The Flash. His whole opening thing of his song is, my name is Barry Allen, and I'm the fastest man alive. Blah, 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 this. <laughs> Grant Gustin. He did that for nine seasons. Nine fucking season, Grant Gustin. Yeah, 
Yep, great. Kelsey did that for nine seasons. Of the Flash, nine fucking seasons, nine fucking seasons. It's great, Gus. So for telling me people hate hate, hate the, the the comics is a joke. It's a joke, John Denver, because yeah, people somewhat like Ezra Miller, but they love Grant Gustin more of the Flash. Okay, let's just be honest. This is, my boy Grant Gustin was the Flash for over nine seasons, and he's the reason why. Even people cares about the Flash. It's because of Grant Gustin. I'm sorry, Ezri. It's not you. It's, it, it's, it's not you. It's just the circumstances of it, Grant. I mean, Ezri Miller. People like Grant Gustin more of the Flash than you, okay? So, yeah, it's like, yeah, there you go. To a point that when they heard the bad news about you, they wanted Grant Gustin to replace your ass. Ezra. It didn't happen. It should have, but it, hell, they didn't want him in the movie when he was it. He should have because you were in the crossover Crisis on the Earth and Star Lab saying, whoa, that's not, that, that's that's my name? The Flash? Whoa. No, I'm serious. They did it. It was in the crossover Crisis on the Earth. Ezra Miller was right there. They had to sing together with each other. Both flashes. The flash of both worlds. Right here. There, there's the image. Right there. It's like. Right there, you had Grant Gustin's Flash with Ezra Miller Flash's Star Lab. Right there, Crisis on Infinite Earth cameo. He cameoed, so it was like, why wasn't Grant Gustin in the Flash movie? Because Ezra Miller was in the Crisis on Infinite Earth crossover. So I'm like, why didn't you do it? It makes sense. And you never explained why he was there. They never explained why Ezra Miller's Barry Allen was in Star Lab in Earth Prime or Earth One at that at that point. They never explained that six iteration in the Flash movie. This right here, this right here, it was never mentioned at all in the movie. Why Ezra Miller's Barry meant Grant Gustin's Barry? It was never called reference in the movie at all i fucking hated that so there you go hope you enjoyed that one i'm out